Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Assault. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the unique weapon X2 antenna in Fallout New Vegas Old World Blues DLC. So play through until you get to the mission X2 Strange Transmissions and you will find the uh, antenna on top of the X2 transmitter antenna array right where I showed you it was on the map. Anyways, the X2 antenna array is one of the many special antennas used to make the radar guided repulsive field around the Big Mountain Research and Development Center and for the transmissions of the X2 array. When used as a weapon, it focuses brainwave patterns and does electrical damage causing extra damage to robots and power armor users. As you can see on screen, I'm fighting some of the uh, Hardens Mr. Gutsies and the Advanced uh, Defense Bots, whatever the heck they're called, uh, Hardened Sentry Bots or something like that, I think. But, uh, yeah, Hardened Sentry Bots. And this thing is just wrecking them. It is just going right through them like they're pieces of paper and I am a giant pair of scissors. So, this weapon has a special attack called Pain Frequency, which you can activate in VATS if you have a melee skill of 50. It will use 13 more action points than a regular attack, but it will do 200% damage. So, if you're trying to go for some big damage on some enemies, definitely go into VATS and use Pain Frequency. Uh, coupled with a high amount of action points, this thing can just completely annihilate any robot in the game. Anyways, uh, the X2 antenna can successfully strike about 620 times from full condition before breaking. Not too bad. If you only use this for engagements with robots, it'll probably last a long time as it comes in fully repaired condition. So, yeah. And some notes about it. It is needed for the quest X2 Strange Transmissions, but it is not a quest item and can be dropped right after obtaining it as the blueprint is already transferred to Dr. Klein. So, you're not going to lose this weapon because you need to grab it from the quest. You are able to keep it. In fact, you can just drop it right out when you're done grabbing it. So, if your strength level does not meet the recommended level for this weapon, which is 7, then the attack speed of the antenna is painfully slow and could possibly make it the slowest in the game, regardless of the fact that the Super Sledge is 5 pounds heavier than it and attacks faster. So, make sure that your melee skill or your uh, strength skill is level 7 before you use this thing or else you are just not going to be able to swing it fast enough to make it effective at all huh. and also as an EMP melee weapon it is relatively powerful against machines like robo scorpions which it often knocks back with each hit actually I grabbed the X2 antenna and used it to fight the uh, spoiler alert the final robo scorpion boss in old world blues and it just annihilated it I walked up to it and it does that charge up sequence and I just used the X2 antenna on it and destroyed it before it could even get one attack on me. So, the X2 antenna is probably the best melee weapon for going up against any sort of robot or power armor user. Of course, with the power armor users, they're gonna have guns, so you're gonna have to make sure you can get up close and personal without getting uh, sprayed down by their guns. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.